Hey folks, I'm Beetle Melhorn, and in this video, we're going to see if rising lake levels due to heavy rains will spark a midsummer flathead bite. Well, it's the first week of August. Uh, we've had a lot of rain. Uh, matter of fact, there's a flood watch in effect today. Uh, it's just bands of showers coming through. Uh, some of them thunderstorms, some of them just torrential rain. I don't think we've got as much rain as they were calling for, but it's still been a lot of rain. It's been enough to keep me off the water a few days when some of the thunderstorms built up. So, uh, and to get out this morning, I uh, went out yesterday. The fishing was kind of slow, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I'm going to try it back today, see if I can get on some kind of a bite. Wow. Rare summer day right there, folks. Not a single person at the boat ramp at seven o'clock on a summer August morning. Fair weather fans. There's not a single car, truck, boat trailer, anything here at the boat ramp. Well, my plan was pretty simple. I decided to first go up a river arm on the reservoir that I was fishing, uh, looking for one, some rising water. Uh, we've had a lot of rains uh, that led up to this trip. Uh, so the lake levels, river levels were on the rise, which is always a good time to be fishing. Uh, I always say if you're gonna fish any flood conditions, you want it when the water is rising uh, versus falling, because it seems like the bite really starts to go downhill once that water level peaks and starts to fall. So we had the rising water level, the uh, lakes and rivers were on their way up from the runoff, and in the river section I had some current. So I had a pretty good combination of a lot of things going on, and I had some colder water coming into this area. Uh, with this being the middle of the summer, uh, most of our water temperatures are around 85 degrees, 86, 87, somewhere in there. We had some cold rains, uh, some halfway cool nights, nothing really bad, but the water temperatures in this area had really dipped down into the 70s, uh, and I was hoping it was going to make for some good fishing conditions. There he goes, there he goes, that's a bite, that's a big fish, that's a big fish swimming off right there. That's a big fish. That's a better fish. That one went off like it's supposed to. Better fish, better fish. I have no idea what it is, but it's heavy. That's going to be a nettable fish. I'm going to have to get a head on that one. I can tell already that fish is fairly heavy. Yeah, that's a fairly heavy fish, I could tell. If you wondered about how well a Ooh, he's going where he wants to right now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a heavy fish. Let's, yeah, stay. Look at that rod bend, folks. That's a big fish. That is a very big fish. You wondered about the big cat fever rods. There it goes in the water. It's probably a flathead. The way he's shoveling down right here at the boat. Gosh, look at that rod go. Sue, sue, sue. Sue. Oh. That's a heavy fish. Very heavy fish. A 
sitting in about 22 feet of water. Uh, I don't see him on the sonar yet. He is not wanting to come up though. There he comes. Straight up and down underneath the boat. All right, I seen the sinker. We're close. It's a big blue. Monster blue. Monster blue cat. No, monster flathead. Monster flathead. Thought it was a blue. Monster flathead. Monster flathead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That right there, folks, is what I needed. A nice, nice flathead. Right there, that's what I was looking for. That's a good fish. Flathead. Great fish. One more look at it. Get it back alive. It's a great fish. Boom. Yep, he's there. He is there, hooked up. Uh, decent fish. I don't think it's as big as the last one. It's a decent fish. Just happy to get bit. Happy to get bit. A little heavier rod this time. Not as big, but still like a strong fish. There he is. Ooh, another flathead. Small one. There he goes down. He's a smaller one, but we'll take him. Young flathead. Future right there, folks. The future. Good fish. Good fish. Good color. A little more yellow to it. Get him back alive. Well, folks, that spot turned out to be pretty nice. And obviously, it's pretty hard to top the fish I caught there. But I had a place that I wanted to try in these rising water conditions and since we had some current. Uh, I knew there was an area that had some uh, brush piles in it that some crappie fishermen had put out. Uh, some big piles of uh, Christmas trees and some logs and stuff like that in there. Uh, and I knew it would be a good staging area for flathead catfish during the middle of the day. So I uh, made a run down there, got set up. Uh, I marked each of these spots, rode over and found them on my sonar, put out a marker buoy and was able to anchor the boat upstream from them uh, so that I was able to fan cast out, put baits back near where those piles were, slightly upstream from uh, the piles themselves, all the structure, and uh, was able to let those baits, cut bait, let that scent just carry, drift with the current down around those brush piles and uh, was able to lure out a couple of fish. That is a fish. That is a fish. Hooked in. Moving off kind of slow. Straight underneath the boat's a heavy fish. That may be a flathead. That's what we're looking for here. Fishing around a bunch of structure. Straight up and down underneath the boat right now. Get 
a look at him. A little cleaner water. Flathead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Flatty, flatty. Flatty, flatty. Yes. Good looking fish. Good looking fish. Not hooked good, though. Ah, got him. Got him. Hey, he's hooked better than I thought. There he is, man. Flathead. Daytime flatheads on cut bait. Look at that. Look at that mouth. That's an eating machine right there. Looks like the one I caught earlier. That wasn't 10 miles away. I'd say it's the same fish. A little different color though. Good one. There he is, folks. One more shot of him before we get him back in the water. Boom. Pretty sure I got one swimming off on Pinky. Yeah, there he is. Hooked up, hooked up. Good fish, good fish. Good fish. Feels wrapped. Oh, he's put, look how smooth that drag is. He's around something. He is around something. Pulling like a flathead. I don't know if it is or not. Good fish, good fish. Big flathead, big flathead. Big flatty, taking line, taking line. There we go, good flathead. Smoking them, smoking them, smoking them. He's hooked good. See if I get him. Let me see. Uh, there it is, folks. Another flathead. Demon Dragon style. That's right. Look at that fish. Nice. Nice. Daytime flatheads on cut bait, finding them on structure. They'll eat. Well, there you go, folks. It doesn't always pay off like this, but this was one of those rare days that during the middle of the day, I caught nothing but flatheads. It was a great day on the water. Hopefully, you learned a little something from this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and uh, be sure to leave a comment or question down in the uh, comment section below. If you like the channel, consider subscribing. And if you subscribe, Hit that little bell symbol so you'll be notified when new videos come out. We look forward to seeing you on the water.